Hello everyone. In our previous videos, we had learned about Oersted experiment. And in Oersted experiment, we had seen that a current carrying conductor produces a magnetic field around it. Then later on, we had seen that a solenoid can be used like an electromagnet. So basically, we can say that a current carrying conductor behaves like a magnet. Then we had seen that if we bring two magnets near to each other, then they either attract or repel each other. Now let's assume that if I replace magnet 2 by the electric conductor. So will the same thing happen now also? Will there be a attraction or repulsion between the conductor and the magnet? So let's find out. Now to find out, let's do an experiment. This experiment is known as kicking wire experiment. Now let's make the arrangement for kicking wire experiment. So here is an arrangement for kicking wire experiment. We had taken a horseshoe magnet and placed a conductor in between this horseshoe magnet. One end of the conductor is tied at the top and the other end is free to move. This is to ensure that we are able to see any deflection caused in the wire. Now the bottom most part to maintain its connectivity we had filled it by mercury. Mercury will ensure that this wire is always connected to the battery. So if I switch on the battery, can you tell me that which direction current will flow? Now if you observe battery plus is here and minus is there and current always flows from positive to negative. So if I switch on the current will flow from A to B that means the direction of the current will be downwards. So current will flow in downward direction. So now let's switch on the battery. So you had seen that as I switched on the battery, the conductor deflected towards you. Now, you might have observed that as I switched on the battery, the moment I switched it on, the conductor deflected in forward direction. It was as if it was being kicked from its back. So now let's do one more experiment. Let's switch the terminals of the battery. Let's interchange the battery terminals positive by negative. Let's turn the battery. So now if I switch on the battery, the current will flow in upward direction. So let's switch on and let's find out that what will be the direction of the movement of the conductor or whether it will move this time or not. So let's switch on the battery. Now you have observed that as I switched on the battery, this time the conductor moved in the backward direction. It was as if someone has kicked it from its front side. So from this experiment, we can conclude that just like the magnetic field due to an electric current depends on the direction of the current, the force on the conductor also depends on the direction of the current. So again, we have to formulate some rule or some law to find the direction of force acting on this conductor. Now this problem to find the direction of the movement of the conductor is being solved by Fleming's left hand rule. Now as the name indicates, it has something related to your left hand. So remember to take your left hand, don't take your right hand. This is my left hand, take your left to apply this rule. So this rule says that if you take the thumb forefinger and second finger of your left hand and keep them in such a way that they are mutually perpendicular to each other. This thumb is perpendicular to the to the forefinger. This forefinger is perpendicular to this second finger and the second finger is perpendicular to the thumb. So you have to take it in such an arrangement. Now it says that if your Four finger points in the direction of magnetic field and this second finger points in the direction of current then 
the thumb will give you the direction of force. Now it seems very difficult to remember. So all you have to remember is F, M and C. F stands for father, then M for mother and C for child. First comes the father, then comes the mother, then comes the child. So you, all you have to remember is father, mother, child. So now if you see that four finger will give you the direction of magnetic field. So this is M, M for mother, M for magnetic field. Then you have to go for the second finger. Second finger is for C. C means current. So you have to place your second finger in the direction of current. Then finally the thumb which says F. F will give the direction of force. It means the thumb will give you the direction of force. So all you have to do is apply father mother child rule or Fleming left hand rule to find the direction of force on any conductor placed in a magnetic field. Now let's try to apply this father mother child rule or Fleming left hand rule in a kicking wire experiment. So a first condition of kicking wire experiment current was flowing in the downward direction and magnetic field is always from north to south. So let's place a forefinger in the direction of magnetic field. So magnetic field is in this direction. So I place this forefinger in the direction of magnetic field and the second finger has to be placed in the direction of current. So current is flowing in downward direction. So let's place it like this. Fourth finger is in the direction of magnetic field. This second finger is in the direction of current. So this thumb will give you the direction of force. That means this wire should be pushed in forward direction. And this was the same thing that happened in the kicking wire experiment in first case. When we switched on, then the wire moved in the forward direction. Now we can apply Fleming left hand rule in a second case of kicking wire experiment also. So in a second case current was flowing in upward direction and we had got the deflection of the wire in backward direction. Now you can try and apply father mother child rule or Fleming left hand rule in this condition and find out that what is the direction of force on this conductor. So by this whole activity of kicking wire experiment, we can conclude that just like a magnet exert a force on another magnet, a magnet also exert a force on a current carrying conductor. And the direction of this force can be find out by using Fleming left hand rule or by using the short trick which is father mother child so all you have to remember is father mother child or fleming left hand rule and always remember to take your left hand don't do it by using your right hand you will get wrong result now this phenomena of force on an electric conductor due to a magnet is used in many practical applications in the next video we'll see those applications how this phenomena makes our life easier